we're going to be solving leak code problem 1209 remove all adjacent duplicates in string 2 so this is there's another question on the code just called remove all duplicates in string it's an easier problem. This one's almost the same as the previous problem, except that instead of removing two duplicate items, we remove k duplicate items. So the question is, given a string s, a k duplicate removal consists of choosing k adjacent and equal letters from s and removing them, causing the left and right side of the deleted substring to concatenate together. We repeatedly make k duplicate removals on s until we no longer can. Return the final string after all such duplicate removals have been made. It is guaranteed that the answer is unique. So in this answer, k is two, and we're looking for two duplicate items next to each other. There are none, so you don't remove anything, you return the exact same string. Here, k is three, so we're looking for three adjacent equal items. So e, 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 and c, c, c would be equal to those. So we remove those, and then we do that same operation again, and again, and again, as many times as we can, until we're left with the final string, which is AA. So you can sort of see the problem and how the explanation and how they got to that solution. And then same with this one, our final string is PS, okay? So this is, um, if you've seen my previous video on the remove all adjacent duplicates in string, uh, the easy problem on Lake code, this is very similar. We're gonna be using a stack to solve this, except the stack is going to contain an array of elements or a tuple of elements. So we can keep track of the string in the stack that we're currently evaluating, as well as a count of that string. So we'll create a stack variable here. So in Python, that's just a list. And we'll start iterating for char in string. If stack and the back end or the last item of the stack first element is equal to char and stack last item of the stack second element in the tuple plus one is equal to k, then we pop the last item. Else if stack and stack negative one, zero, equals c, then we increment the counter of that last item. So we'll do stack negative one, one, plus equals one. Else we append to the stack. Either there's no items on the stack or there's no equal item on, this, on the back of the stack. So we'll go ahead and append to it. And we append, we can use a tuple, uh, the char and a count of one, because it's the first time we've seen that char. And then we go ahead and iterate through, we'll create an output variable, which is a string that we're going to output. We we'll iterate through everything that's left in the stack. So for i in stack, output concatenate what exists already in output plus i zero times i one and then we return output. So all that we're doing here is we're going through S and we check the back of the stack or the top of the stack and we say, does that equal the current character that we're at? And does that count plus one equal K? If so, then we found three or K amount of adjacent items. And so we pop it off the stack. Otherwise, if the stack is not empty and the last or the top of the stack does equal the current character that we're looking at, then we increment our count on the stack. Otherwise, we just append that current character and a count of one onto the stack. So I'll go ahead and submit this. Looks like I can't use a tuple. Okay, and there we go, you have a valid solution. So we do have to use a list instead of a tuple, but it's the same solution, same algorithm.